Key stage 3 mental tests. Lower test 1 answers. Now in your exam you're not allowed any working out paper or scrap paper. However I've got a piece here just in case I need it to help me explain any answers to you. You are allowed to write on your exam paper outside the question boxes or answer boxes. Number one, write in figures the number 402. There's not much we can do about that except for write down the answer I don't think. Question two, what do you need to add to 76 to make 100? Now on the sheet I would make a note of that 76. 80 from 100 is 20, so this is 24. Question 3. Look at the equation on the answer sheet. I'll write it over here just so it's a bit bigger for us. When Q is 8, what is the value of P? So instead of 16 plus Q, we've got 16 plus 8, and that will give us 24. Question 4. What number multiplied by 7 equals 56? And there is room in your exam paper to write that outside the answer box. So you could do that. And as long as you know your tables, 7 eighths are 56. Number 5. Divide the number on your answer sheet by 100. So this is the number on the answer sheet. Crossing off those two noughts, we'll divide the number by 100. So your answer is 47. Number six, what is the sum of the angles of a triangle? Well, you need to know the word sum means add up. So in other words, it's saying, what do the angles of a triangle always add up to? And you either know, or do, you don't know, it's 180 degrees. Question number seven. Write the expression on your answer sheet in its simplest form. So we've got 4p plus 1p and that's altogether 5p. Number 8. Write the fraction on your answer sheet in its simplest form. Sometimes we call this cancelling. So if you look at the two numbers we appreciate that 4 goes into 4 and 4 goes into 12. There's 1 4 there and there's 3 4's in 12. So the answer is 1 third. Number 9. I buy a chocolate par for 43 pence. Now again, in the exam, I'd actually write that down in the space I'm allowed to. With a £2 coin, how much change do I get? Well, if this was 50 pence, I'd get £1.50 change. But I need another 7 pence, so it's £1.57. Let's not forget the dot, let's not forget the pound sign. Number 10. Add together the numbers on your answer sheet. So we've got 37 on the answer sheet and we've got 35. Add together the units, that's 12. And there's 30 there and 30 there, which is 60. And the 12, 60 and 12, 72. Number 11. A bus leaves at 9.30 and travels for four hours. At what time does the bus stop? Now I use my fingers to do this. 30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30. I've got no shame in using my fingers like that, other than maybe I might do it under the desk so nobody knows I did that. But, if it helps, it helps me get the right answer, then that's absolutely fine by me. Question 12. I'm counting back in steps of 10. 225, 215, 205. Next number would be 195. Number 13. What is half of 9? Half of 9 is 4.5. And, and the examiner won't mind whether you write as 4.5 or 4.5. Number 14. Look at the temperatures on your answer sheet. Tick the lowest temperature. We've got 0 degrees there, we've got minus 1 there, and we've got minus 3 degrees, and that's the smallest of them. Question 15. 
500 people went to a show. Now again on the answer sheet, if I make a note of that, the space outside the boxes which is allowed. The pie chart shows how people travelled. How many went by train? Well, this is 90 degrees, so this is a quarter of the pie chart. Therefore, a quarter of the people went by train. So if we halve that 500, we'll have 250. And if we halve that 250 again, we'll get 125 people went by train. Number 16. Write down an even number that is a multiple of 9. So we need to know that our 9 times table is what is meant by a multiple of 9. Multiple of 9 means 9 times table. So once 9 is 9 and 2 9s are 18. So 18 is an even number and it's in our 9 times table so it's a multiple of 9. There are many other numbers which would have suited for the answer to that question. Number 17. 2 pens cost 60 pence. So if 2 pens cost 60 pence one pen would cost 30 pence. And the question says how much the three pens cost. So we've got three 30 pences, which is 90 pence. Number 18. How many seconds are there in two and a half minutes? Again, the space outside the box to write that information, and that's in fact what I would do. One minute is 60 seconds, so two minutes would be two sixties, which are 120. Half a minute is 30 seconds, add the 30 onto the 120 and end up with 150 seconds. Number 19. 